Welcome to Daily Devo. My name is Jeremy, and today we are talking about the damage caused by reckless words. Proverbs 12, 18 tells us that the words of the reckless pierce like swords, while the tongue of the wise brings healing. In our daily lives, we often underestimate the impact our words can have on those around us. Yet the book of Proverbs reminds us the immense power of our words and what they possess. This verse emphasizes the importance of using our words responsibly and highlights the significance of our speech in shaping relationships and influencing other people's lives. Reckless words can be compared to sharp swords, inflicting deep wounds on others. They cut through the hearts, leaving scars that are not easily forgotten. When we speak recklessly, we disregard the potential harm our words can cause, damaging the bonds we share with other people. Our words can tear down self-esteem. They can breed bitterness. They can sow seeds of discord among friends and loved ones. And that moment of lashing out can destroy relationships and ruin years of a cultivated friendship. On the other hand, the tongue of the wise brings healing. Wise words spoken with thoughtful, and compassion have the power to mend broken hearts, to uplift weary souls, and to restore fractured relationships. A timely word of encouragement, a gentle apology, or a heartfelt affirmation can bring healing to wounded spirits and create an atmosphere of love and acceptance. To avoid using reckless words, we must cultivate wisdom and discernment in our speech. We can start by pausing before we speak and considering the impact of our words and how they may affect others. In moments of anger and frustration, it's especially crucial to exercise restraint and choose our words carefully. Proverbs 51 reminds us that a gentle answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. By responding with kindness and understanding, we can diffuse conflicts and build bridges of reconciliation. All of us need to get better at asking more questions and making less statements when we're angry or in conflict. We can seek personal growth by being intentional about the words we use. We can practice active listening, seek to understand before being understood. By empathizing with others, and choosing our words with empathy and respect. We foster healthier and more meaningful connections. Additionally, we should strive for our words to uplift and encourage. Take the time to offer some genuine compliments and words of affirmation to those around you. A kind word can brighten someone's day and remind them of their worth and value. Today, let us commit to using our words responsibly. We can choose what we are known for. You'll either be known as an encourager of others or known for speaking harshly towards one another. I think we know which one has a greater impact and has more meaningful relationships. I wanna be known as an encourager who uses wise words to soothe and to bring healing. Thanks for joining us today on The Daily Devo.